County Commissioners hold their April meeting. A four-wheeler driver is transported by helicopter, reversing the path towards diabetes and SART to hold a local march and rally. All that and more are coming your way on your Wednesday edition of Live at 5. Richmond County's nightly news starts right now. Good evening and welcome to your Wednesday edition of Live at 5, brought to you by Richmond Community College. I'm Matt Harrelson. Registration for summer classes has begun and you can register by going to richmondcc.edu or by calling 910-410-1700. Let's get right to it now for tonight's top stories. The Richmond County Board of Commissioners held their regular monthly meeting Tuesday at the Judicial Center in Rockingham. During open forum for public comments, two citizens spoke. The first was Kim McCall, who spoke of concerns with her land and residents since Barnhill Contracting was issued a conditional use permit in 2012 for mining sand adjacent to her property. According to McCall's comments, she said the permit states, quote, the use will not cause injury or devalue of the adjoining property, which is me, end quote. McCall stated she has previously brought her concerns to the commissioners, which she indicated had not done any good. McCall told the board that since Barnhill showed up in 2012, there have been many incidents, including cracks in the foundation of her home, trees collapsing, trees dying on her property, and she noted that the ground is sinking. She finished up her comments by requesting a sit-down meeting with Barnhill and the state. For more on the board meeting, you can read the full story on richmondobserver.com. Emergency responders were paged to an ATV accident around 6.20 p.m. on Saturday on Highway 1 South at the Old Sherall Highway intersection. The injured person was a 20-year-old male who was alone on the ATV at the time of the accident. There was a group of around 10 riding when the accident occurred. A member of the group stated that one of the drivers slowed and the injured male did not stop causing the accident. A helicopter from Carolina Air Care landed in an adjacent field transporting the victim with a head and facial injuries to Chapel Hill. All right, folks, we're going to take a short break, and we've got plenty more for you coming up right after a word from our sponsor, so stay tuned to Live at 5. My name is Jim Leach, and we have been using the Tim Hayden Construction Company for the last several years. My name is Dave Owens and my wife, Beth. We had some damage here at our place in Norwood Village. January 2nd, our house flooded upstairs coming through to the uh, first floor. Uh, Tim has responded uh, very quickly with his team of people. Our repairs went extremely well. Tim made a very difficult situation uh, much easier for us. Family Pharmacy is a local pharmacy that's been in business in Rockingham for over 10 years. Located in the Food Lion Shopping Center on US 1 North, we have easy access into the store and a drive through for your convenience as well. You can download the official Family Pharmacy app at MyFamilyPharmacy.com and we'll help you set it up to text you when your prescription is ready and you can even set it up to fill your prescriptions when due. Our motto is we'll treat you like family and it's something we truly mean. We take the same care in filling your prescription that we would take for our own family. Family Pharmacy, we'll treat you like family. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. And welcome back to Live at 5, Richmond County's nightly news. Education and motivation helped two area residents, along with dozens of their classmates, lose a combined total of 500 pounds last year, all without the need for surgery, fad diets, medicines, or money. In fact, because of their personal efforts and free classes offered by Community Health Services at First Health of the Carolinas, 
they were able to reduce and even avoid the risks of diabetes. They also reduced the amount of medicine they need and improved their overall health in ways important to them. Pre-diabetes is a health condition when blood sugar levels are higher than they should be, but not high enough to be called diabetes. Gay Childers of Rockingham was right to be concerned without making lifestyle changes. People with pre-diabetes are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes within five years, according to medical experts. So in March of last year, Childers enrolled in classes held by First Health that help people learn about pre-diabetes and how to reverse it. Health educators in the class, which meets over an entire year, teach important lifestyle changes that research shows can improve blood sugar and overall health. Topics include exercise, diet, and stress management, and specific options to put this knowledge into action. To learn more about how to reverse the path of diabetes, check out the First Health article on richmondobserver.com. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and according to the National Sexual Violence Resource Center, SAAM, is celebrating its 17th anniversary with the theme, Embrace Your Voice, to inform individuals how they can use their words to promote safety, respect, and equality to stop sexual violence before it happens. In Richmond County, the nonprofit Sexual Assault Response Team will hold its annual awareness event on Saturday, April 28th from 10.30 a.m. to noon. This year, the event will begin with a march from the courthouse to the Cole Plaza, where a rally will ensue, including a survivor story and other speakers. Linda Tillman, chairperson of SART, stated, quote, We expect a big crowd this year because of the Me Too movement that has been in the forefront of the news media. We wanted to do something bigger this year. We're hoping that the march is going to bring out a lot more people, end quote. For additional information about the North Carolina Coalition Against Sexual Assault, you can visit nccasa.org backslash cms. All right, folks, we're going to take our final commercial break, and when we come back, we've got your sports and weather. It's all coming up right after this. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College. Local college. Big impact. You guys just outdo yourselves every day. And I really appreciate it. I honest to God don't know what I would do if it weren't for you. The things that you do, I'm in approval of. And thank you. I, 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 I don't know what else to say other than thank you. Exit Realty Platinum in Rockingham is listed one of the most beautiful homes in Richmond County. Located in Rockingham on Ledbetter Lake, the home features four bedrooms with bamboo floors and a kitchen featuring stainless steel appliances and granite countertops and a master bedroom that overlooks Ledbetter Lake along with a spacious tile shower and the attached master bathroom. The open living space leads to the back deck with a perfect view of Ledbetter Lake and the property features its own boat dock. Want to see this beautiful home? Call Nicole Hayden with Exit Realty Platinum. Your source for homes in Richmond and Moore Counties. Rockingham Farm Supply, at the corner of Highway 220 and Green Street in Rockingham will have their annual Customer Appreciation Day, March 23rd and 24th. Some great food and great company. Come on down, check out the Bobcats. They are an authorized dealer for Bobcat zero-turn mowers. They have seed, chicks, chain, 
key making, a little bit of everything that you could use for your farm or your home. So come on down, enjoy some food, some fellowship, and just maybe you might get to meet Matthew and Mark. Maybe they'll give you a ride on one of the Bobcat Zero Turns. Welcome back to Live at Five, brought to you by Richmond Community College, and now for your top sports story. Listening to head coach Wendy Wallace's advice about being aggressive at the plate early in the game was evident Tuesday as the Lady Raiders softball team demolished Four Bush High School by mercy ruling the Lady Falcons 13-0 in five innings in the second round of the Beach Diamond Invitational. Behind a swarm of 15 hits, including a season-high six doubles and three long balls, the number two ranked Lady Raiders clipped the wings of the Lady Falcons to soar into the championship round. It was the first time in six years that Four Bush lost via the mercy rule. In Monday's opening round against Whiteville, Richmond was slow to get its bats going, but the Lady Raiders came out firing on all cylinders against Four Bush, scoring eight runs in the first two innings. Brianna Basic, who has been riding a hot streak at the plate, dug into the box and drilled a 2 2 missile to deep left center field for a two run bomb. The ball cleared the fence and landed in the back of the bullpen, Basic's third dinger of the season. After Tuesday's win, Grayson Way surpassed fellow Sandhills Athletic Conference pitcher Ina Womack of Hope County as the number one 4A strikeout pitcher in the state. Through 13 games this season, Way has racked up 115 strikeouts in 81 innings pitched. She's also 10th in earned run average, keeping it at a comfortable 1.73 ERA. Richmond will play in the championship game of the Beach Diamond Invitational this evening at 7 p.m. And that's going to do it for sports. Now let's head over to Kelsey Rushing for today's weather forecast. Kelsey? Thanks, Matt. Today's five-day weather forecast is brought to you by HCI Fire and Water Restoration. And, of course, going straight into the five-day weather forecast, starting with Thursday, is going to be sunny all the way through with a 0% chance of rain with a high of 63 and a low of 44. And of course, Friday will also have a 0% chance of rain, but it will be cloudy with a high of 76 and a low of 56. And that day is actually gonna be the warmest out of these five days. And of course, going on to Saturday with a 60% chance of rain. So be careful of that with a high of 75 and a low of 36. And of course, Sunday will have a 0% chance of rain, but it won't be sunny despite the name. It'll be cloudy with a high of 58 and a low of 40. And of course, Monday will have 40% chance of rain with a high of 62 and a low of 49. And of course, the pollen outlook is going to be high for Thursday, which is tomorrow, and then very high for Friday. So keep that in mind. The pollen, it, you can see the pollen, it's bad. It's getting bad. But in that, let's go back to the desk. All right. Thanks, Kelsey. And that's going to do it for this edition of Live at Five. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to download the Richmond Observer iPhone and Android app to get all of your latest news in Richmond County. You can also find the Classic Rock Radio on there, as well as Live at Five and the RO Sports Show. It's all in one, and it's all for free. Thanks for watching Live at Five. Good night, Richmond County.